Subscribe our channel for latest news updates. Black U.S. speed skater just denounced America at Olympics. Offers sick reason why. Does he hate America? It was announced that the four-time Olympian and luge champion Aaron Hamlin would be the one to carry the flag for the U.S. Olympic team at this year's opening ceremony in Pyeongchang, South Korea, and rightly so she was proud and honored by the opportunity. Later in an interview, Hamlin told the Associated Press she had learned she was the one chosen by a phone call with Alan Ashley, chef de mission, on Wednesday evening. Hamlin is the only American, male or female, to ever win a medal in the luge singles competition so she was certainly deserving of this coveted honor. But as we all know in this day and age in America, things can never be this simple. Hamlin was one of eight contenders for the honor, but after the initial voting of the eight-person panel, there was a tie between Hamlin and speed skater Shani Davis. According to the Olympic Committee, if there is a tie, then the rules state a coin toss settles the decision. A coin toss which Hamlin won. Hamlin won the coin toss and Davis was understandably disappointed. Instead of just keeping his head up high and waiting for next year, the spoiled athlete decided to take to social media. Davis is as deserving as Hamlin of this honor. What does a coin toss have to do with Black History Month? Is he trying to say that because he's a black man the panel should have foregone the rules to give him the honor because of his skin color? That can't be, only former President Barack Obama can get away with breaking the rules because of the color of his skin. Via MSN News. The 35-year-old, who's won four Olympic medals and was the first black athlete to ever win gold in an individual event insinuated that his credentials should have given him the honor of carrying the American flag. Hamlin, who is white, was among eight American athletes nominated as flag bearer, one from each federation. After multiple rounds of voting, the final tally ended 4-4, whereupon a coin was flipped to decide the outcome. The tie-breaking procedure had been decided upon last year. No one found it dishonorable at the time. With his tweet and reported boycott, Davis hasn't just ruined whatever goodwill he'd regained after the early controversies of his youth, but he stepped on Hamlin's moment and that of every other American athlete marching on Friday night. It's a selfish move from an insufferable man. Hedrick thought his teammate had cost him another chance at gold. Davis also made headlines in 2009 when he called Stephen Colbert a jerk, after the late-night host raised money for the U.S. speed skating team. The skater was apparently angry over Colbert's past jokes about Canadians. No Davis came out looking bad in both those incidents, you could have made the argument that he'd gotten a bad rap. The Hedrick dispute was completely unfair. Davis had never planned on competing in the relay and was unaware he was even allowed to do so. He had been churlish in his NBC interview after winning gold and acted like a petulant child in a joint presser conference with Hedrick, who didn't behave any better, but Davis had a point.